welcome back to Wake Up 612. Right now, we continue our Buffalo Behind the Scenes series for you this morning as we travel to Martin Luther King Jr. Park. Yeah, that's where crews have been busy working to help make the Buffalo Olmstead Parks beautiful. News 4's Katie Alexander is live at the greenhouses showing us all the work it takes. Katie. Well, Mel and Jordan, it takes a ton of work to get all of these plants ready to go in the ground. We're talking thousands and thousands of seeds planted every year, and the more volunteers they can get, the better. Jeff Jeffrey Kreinick is the uh, head grower here at the MLK Junior Greenhouse, and uh, he's unfortunately for him, I think, allowing me to volunteer this morning. What are we doing? We're going to be sowing some seed, and we're going to be sowing some coneflower, purple, uh, native. It does very well in this region and attracts pollinators and birds. So we're gonna put some in so we can plant them in our maintained meadows. And we're gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna right. make a row first. All right. So, so this is already done. And I'll, and I'll show you, put a nice little row in here. All right, so this is like a little ruler-ish thing. Yes. And I just put it in, is this deep enough? That's deep enough. All right. And now we're gonna take the seeds and you got a pack there. Okay. And we're gonna just, and you can do this side. Okay. And we're gonna, I hope you can undo it if I mess it up. Oh, we'll fix it. Okay. You don't worry about it. It's pretty hard to mess up. Uh, famous last words. Yeah, well, here it goes. So get a nice row going, like little ants. I don't know what I've done wrong here, okay, but. Okay, <laughs> let me fix that. Thank you. See, I told you I might need some help fixing it. Here we go. We'll get it started and then you just take over. Okay, that's a much better idea. There. And these ones you called light seeds. They don't get buried down in the soil. Well, they to germinate, they need light. Okay. So they need a certain temperature and they need sunlight to germinate. So we're not going to bury them. We're not going to sow them. The general rule of thumb is two, twice the diameter of the seed. So, right, okay, so you're ready? We have the ants lined up for okay. me. Okay, there just you gonna go. I'm going to tap them out. Tap, there you go. Look at oh, that. I'm doing it. Yeah. And so someday this summer, I'm going to see some of these plants out, and I'm going to say, I helped with this. And you can do the same. If you want to volunteer, you can go to the Founded on Forest section of our website, WIVV.com, to learn all about the ways you can get involved. Also, stick with us here on Wake Up. We're talking about why this is such an exciting year for the Olmstead Parks Conservancy. A lot still ahead. For now, reporting live, Katie Alexander, News 4. Katie, thanks so much. Hey, some really good tips for all those folks getting ready to spruce up those gardens for spring. I know I'm going to take like note. It. Yeah. Feeling like we're hoping for spring. Thanks, Katie. <laughs> uh, live look outside right now.